But you, uh, <laughs> you think you slick. You know what? Scam. Hands down, the biggest scam in hibachi history. Find a spot called Hood Bachi in Detroit, Michigan. <laughs> so for starters, it's a wait time, all right? I walked up to the window, ordered my food. She said it'd be 25 to 30 minutes. It actually took 45. And you know what? I'm cool with waiting to 45, but keep it 100 with me. Don't waste my time. If it's gonna be 45 minutes, just tell me that off the rip. Don't take my money and then give me my food whenever you wanna give it to me. If you think you about to bypass the wait by calling in and ordering, nope. They don't answer the phone. Anyway, I got what is called the Boss Bachi, and it has chicken, steak, shrimp, lobster, and salmon. Let's see what it's hitting on. Let's try the salmon first. Okay. So let me get this straight. We got a food truck that's in the hood charging Benihana prices for hibachi. Just wanna make sure we clear on that. The salmon, okay at best. They did grill this nice. When I bite into it, you can actually hit a crisp. I don't know if you heard that, but worth a try. When it comes to the flavor, Nah, it tastes like salmon that's been put on the grill. That's it. I don't taste no butter, no seasoning, no nothing. Just grilled it. Got some yum yum sauce. Yum yum. Oh, the yum yum sauce, really good. I like that. Let's try with this honey butter. Mm. Oh no. Let's try everything else as a whole. <laughs> so I do want to give credit where credit's due. They give you a lot, and I mean a lot of food. They give you a lot, you know, a lot of rice a lot of vegetables. But when it comes to the hibachi overall, <laughs> this tastes no different than regular Japanese hibachi that you can get from takeout or or, or you can get from a, from a regular restaurant. And I'll say this, I think the restaurant is probably a little bit better. I'll tell you why. Do they give you a lot of food? Yes, but they chop up a lot of shit, especially the shrimp. So it looks like you're getting a lot of seafood, but in reality, you're really not. Take a look at this shrimp right here. This is not even a whole shrimp. This is shrimp that's been chopped up. And there's other small pieces of shrimp also in this plate. So in theory, <laughs> you think you're getting a lot of seafood, right? And it looks like a lot of seafood, it really does. But if you pay close attention, it's really not. It's a few pieces of shrimp that's been chopped up in half and thrown on top of a bunch of vegetables. So to keep it 100 with you, that pisses me off just a little bit because you wanna charge Benihana prices, right? You wanna charge $55 for this and I'm gonna be real with you. If you're gonna charge Benihana prices, bro, I'm gonna need the Benihana experience. I'm gonna need the soup, the salad, entree. I want my I want my shrimp to be whole. And at the end of my meal, I'm I'm, I'm gonna need dessert or a blowjob or something. Cause this right here ain't worth it at all. But you uh, <laughs> you think you slick? You know what? Scam. Scabachi. This is charm time. Why are you calling my beloved Hibachi scam? Cause my plate for damn sure didn't look like this right here. I'm thinking about the box, but it's uh, overload. Wow. That plate right there and the plate I got, it's not in day. Let me show it to you again. I'm thinking about the bus, but wow. it's overload. Wow. Mm-hmm. You loaded it up, all right. Loaded it up with a bunch of fucking scam. Ha! <laughs> I should have known it was something up with y'all motherfuckers, man. Hood bocce. This right here must be the hood part of hood bocce. Whipping up and serving up that, that high quality bullshit. Hands down, the biggest scam in hibachi history. But we're gonna put this back inside because I do want to try the yum yum sauce because the yum yum sauce is really good. Yum yum in this bitch. The yum yum sauce is right though. And I think the reason why this yum yum sauce stands out more than the regular is because they use a little bit more vinegar. At least that's what it tastes like. I do want to give the garlic butter a chance. No. But here's my overall analysis about this. Why should I pay Benihana prices or any hibachi restaurant prices for that matter when I can go to Benihana's or anywhere else and pay the exact same price and get more for my money? What makes your business so special to where I gotta pay $55 for this and it tastes like just some regular ass hibachi? Truth be told, y'all out here charging high dollar for, for, for high quality bullshit. Straight up, man. Because this right here, overpriced and overhyped. But if you're ever in Detroit, check this place out. 